From last week's video, after getting kicked out of Kingman Wash, we found the most beautiful camping spot. This tree felt so magical and sacred to me, just perfectly perched on the edge of the water. I really felt drawn to sit here and play my drum. I wanted to do something this for this tree, so I took some crystals from my van, washed them in the water, and then made a little offering for how special I felt right here. Afterwards, I went for a little paddle. The water was so mirror-like and perfect today. After the paddle, I came back to the van and the whole camp had been infiltrated by bees and Missy was not happy about it. I made some breakfast for myself, a nice little burrito, and decided to work on some art. This is my art travel kit that I pretty much go everywhere with. I have, have had smaller ones than this but this one for right now works for me perfectly. It has been super windy so I have been stuck in the van for a few days and doing artwork makes me feel so good and in touch with myself and also helps pass the time. Right here I am working on practicing my Art Nouveau style flowers. I am super inspired by Alphonse Mucha who spearheaded the Art Nouveau movement and the way that he captures movement and flowers I'm super inspired by. We then had a little Van Cucci charcuterie board by the fire during sunset. This is one of my favorite like girl dinners. I used to love Lunchables as a kid even though I was not allowed to have them so adult Lunchables is the next best thing for me. Good morning everyone. So today is a really exciting day because we are gonna go kayaking. It has been really windy here like Ooh, here's a good angle. Hi. Um, <laughs> it's been really windy here. We have not been able to get out of the vans a whole lot. And so today we were like, if... Editing Lindra here. Uh, the video cut out and basically what I was saying was that we haven't been able to get out of the vans and if it's a nice day, we were going to go out kayaking. So, we're excited, and it's happening. And we're off! We came across this forest of dead trees. It was so cool and kind of like an obstacle course, but it was also kind of eerie. I wrote a poem about this on my Instagram on Practical Paradise, if you are interested. We paddled into this cove and I saw the largest school of fish 
that I have ever seen in my life. There was thousands and thousands of fish and they were pretty big. It was so cool to see. We had an absolute blast in the sunshine paddling around today, but we went pretty far, the farthest we have ever gone on those kayaks, and we started to get a little tired, so we head back to camp. We started running out of food by this time. We hadn't been to a grocery store in a week and a half or so, and so we're doing another simple dinner. Wraps are something that we do uh, when we don't feel like cooking or we start running out of food. They are super delicious and we make breakfast burritos or tuna wraps or um, sometimes I do peanut butter and jelly wraps. Pretty good. While I was cooking the tortillas, the wind was blowing, the sun was setting, and this view in between the vans just made me feel so perfect. There was a warm breeze, which is one of my most favorite feelings to feel on this planet. I absolutely love a warm breeze and the sunshine and the orange sky just topped off a perfect day. And then we're off. It was time for us to head into Phoenix and we had to leave this most beautiful, perfect spot. We arrived at one of my favorite places, the El Dorado Desert Hot Spring. I absolutely love it here. This week was <laughs> some of my most favorite experiences all put into one. And so I decided to take a little walk and explore the hot springs. And as you can see, you can tell why I love it here. This is a new thing that they did. They added this pond with all of these beautiful little fish and this pool. Yes, that is an albino peacock on the roof. There's so many different kinds of animals here. Peacocks and pigs and parrots, chickens. It's so fun. I loved watching all of the little fish. And there is one of the biggest <laughs> shaggy palms I have ever witnessed in my life. It was towering over absolutely everything. I adore palm trees. And so it was so fun to get immersed in these shaggy palms. They hold a special place in my heart. Um, they usually only hang around hot springs down here. And so uh, whenever I see them, I just feel so good. These flowers were beautiful at golden hour. And we discovered there's a huge pond in the back with orange trees around it. I love oranges, and this pond was filled with fish and this cute little turtle. Ah, uh, he was coming up and saying hi. I came back to the van and Missy had discovered that there were bunnies around here. So she was perched under the van waiting to chase them. I decided to explore around some more and ended up finding a couple secret hot springs that I didn't know existed. There was this bamboo tunnel that I absolutely just thought was so fascinating. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what is down here. Um, it started getting dark and I was like, oh, am I allowed to go back here? But I just started exploring and having a fun little time. I didn't know what this opening was, but I... <laughs> I can't believe it's another hot spring. This one was out of commission. I'm not exactly sure why, but they made it out of an actual hot tub. So crazy. I continued down the bamboo path and realized that there was another opening through here. I, <laughs> I was so excited. I headed through and then was so surprised that there was another warm, functioning hot spring. So I just decided to take a little sneaky dip in it. Um, I'm pretty sure you have to pay for these ones extra, but I was feeling naughty that day. Uh, and now we're here to the Southwest Museum in Phoenix. Um, I got the amazing opportunity to meet my favorite artist here, Mark McGorry. 
He was doing a limited run of print. That was all the donation. All of the proceeds were going to the Navajo and two different foundations with them. I absolutely love museums. I love this piece and the lighting. It seemed so mystical and captured the Southwest. This portrait was incredible. I love kind of the juicy nature that oil gives to paintings and the lighting was just incredible. I loved seeing all of the Southwest art. I am so inspired by the Southwest and being in the van down here in the desert has brought me a lot of healing into my life. This piece really took me aback. I absolutely love the color choices and the detail in the forearm is just astonishing. I love looking at other artists. It's so inspiring. This piece tripped me the hell out. I did not know what was going on. I was so confused. And then I finally went to the site. I was like, oh my gosh, this is 3D. What a perfectly executed illusion. I was genuinely didn't know what was going on and was confused for several minutes, which way to go on making people stop and truly absorb the <laughs> craftsmanship in your work. It, this is painted 3D structure. Oh, wow. And then I was off to get some ice cream. I spent way too long trying to find the perfect ice cream place in Phoenix, Scottsdale area, and I was pleased to find it. We decided to go to this park and from the satellite, it just looked like a normal park and somewhere nice to hang out. But there is a lot more to this park than meets the eye. There was a beautiful bridge and an incredible duck pond. <laughs> Seeing the kids get feed these ducks and having them all swarm. I don't know if I've ever seen such a high volume of ducks. Also, it doesn't it look like a little boat freeway. Uh, I love ducks and how they're just little boat birds. And also, what a great bird to be. You're a boat, you can go on land, you can fly, you can swim. Uh, they're just... I think I would enjoy being a duck. There was also a carousel. I couldn't believe how much was at this park. There was a piano recital going on. People were riding the carousel. There was ponds. It was packed and so fun and wholesome. There was also this waterfall. I was like, this is an absolute paradise for these ducks. It was so cool to see. And there were so many different breeds as well. They seemed to absolutely love it here. And it was such a pleasure to watch them. I headed back to the van and it was time to make some dinner. Yes, we're making wraps again. When we are in a city, we choose to just kind of do the easiest thing. I did take a little dance party break while I was making these tortillas. My lovely travel partner was going to assemble the wraps and it was my job to cook the tortillas. I'm the only one with a working stove currently, so we make it work. How we make, we're making tuna wraps tonight and we start by doing mayo and mustard, spreading on there. We make superfood salad, which is a blend of kale, cashews, seeds, blueberries, carrots, onion, honey, olive oil, lime, and we make that and we put it on almost everything for a period of time. It's a pretty good way to get greens into our diet. And we finished off the night with these super delicious wraps. Am I still in my pajamas? Yes. Have I not gotten out of bed yet? Yes but I'm doing this outro. Thank you so much today for watching. I so, so appreciate it. If you got anything out of this video, leave a like, possibly subscribe. If you're interested in me and all that I do in my art and stickers and clothing, uh, you can find me at Practical Paradise on Instagram, Practical Paradise on TikTok, practicalparadiseart.com 
is my website. And if you're into Etsy and you prefer to do that, I have van life stickers on Etsy. So thank you so much. I love you.